hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this amazing looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects so let's create a new composition I'll call it as main and width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 12 20 seconds and background color I'm going to choose let's say white color and simply hit ok and then hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection now we need to create some uh, shape over here so I'm gonna select this ellipse and then i'm going to delete this fill at least for now we don't need that fill i want stroke and for the stroke color i'm going to choose black color and the stroke width i'm going to choose let's say five and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this then select this shape press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically so now this ellipse is properly at the center now i'm going to select this ellipse and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it then press s for scaling option and we will make the scale 90 press v to select your selection tool zoom in a little bit and we have to move this over here and we have to take care about that anchor point of this ellipse should be aligned with the stroke of this second one okay so now we will select this shape layer again we will hit ctrl d press s for scaling option and let's make this 80 by holding shift i am going to move this over here and as it is uh, align, um, this stroke should be aligned with the anchor point again hit ctrl d press s make this 70 and let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d press s and let's move this over here press s and let's make this 60 okay so if I see this thing, I'll get something like this. Now I'm going to select this uh, shape layer, press S, and let's scale the. Sorry. Uh, now I'm going to select this fourth layer, and I'll make it apparent with this shape layer, which is my fifth layer. Then I'll select this, I'll make it apparent with this fourth one. This one should be parent with this third one, and this one should be parent with this second one. Okay. Now let's select this layer, and if I scale it like this okay so we'll get something like this now uh, if you want then you can size keep it as it is but uh, i'm going to choose somewhere around like this should be good or uh, you can keep it as it is like 100 should be good now uh, all of them are properly aligned with each other and now uh, i'll select this four fifth layer i'll press r for rotation i'll create one keyframe over here and then you can go to somewhere around 8 seconds and let's make this one complete rotation and hit N because I want animation from over here also so now if I play this animation I'll get this kind of animation now I'll select this rotation keyframes I'll hit ctrl C I'll select all of them and I'll hit ctrl V so if I see this animation now I'll get this kind of animation which is in the form of loop like this okay now hit u so hide this now select your ellipse and let's delete this stroke i don't want that go to the fill and now over here i'm going to choose let's say something like blue color and hit okay like this or i don't think we need to create any extra layer but now uh, let's select this now I'm going to delete this stroke and over here color I'm going to choose this color and hit ok select this let's delete the stroke and I'm going to choose same version but a lighter version of this blue and hit ok select this layer delete the stroke go to the fill option and again choose lighter version of this blue or you can select this color also go over here let's uh, delete the stroke so 
soru. Okay. Get something like this. So if I hit play, I'm gonna get this kind of animation. Like this. Okay. So now uh, select the topmost layer, this one. Go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect on it and double click to apply. Go to the color options and we will choose this bluish color like this. Let's uh, decrease the opacity to 20. De increase the softness and distance. I am going to choose 15. Okay, now select this drop shadow, hit control C. Sorry, uh, select this, hit control C to copy, select all of them and hit control V. So if I see this, I'll get something like this. Now let's select the shape layer, right click, go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss. Go to the bevel emboss and let's increase the softness and increase the size also like this. And uh, over here, shadow opacity, I'm going to decrease it up to 20%. Now select this layer style, hit Ctrl C, select all of them and hit Ctrl V. So it will apply this layer styles to all of them and if you think this works then you can skip this portion also. You can only select this one and hit Ctrl V for the layer styles. I don't think we need to apply this layer styles over here and if you want to apply then uh, what you do need to do simply hit Ctrl V. You can go to the layer styles and level uh, boss. And over here you can change the color of the black one to any another color like you can choose blue version of this and hit on ok then you can copy this layer style so you can select uh, this view and press ctrl v so we will get something like this ok now select all of them and press ctrl shift c i'll call it as one and hit ok hit ctrl zero go to over here and hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's bring this over here double click to open this select all of them and i think uh, we need to select each and every one and let's delete this fill i not fill but uh, drop shadow okay now let's select all of them and now we will unlink this each and every one like this if you press R, we will get this rotation animation over here also. Now press S for scaling option and now we will scale down the scale of each and every one like this. Okay, so we'll get something like this or instead of that select all of them and you can keep any one particular uh, uh, reading for each and every one. Like you can choose let's say 10 maybe and now I'm going to select and I'll make it apparent like before. So we will get something like this. Now let's go to the main animation. So we will get this thing over here. And now if you go over here, you can select all of them and go to the fill option. And we need to choose some darker version of this color like this. Okay. Or uh, instead of that, you can choose even white color also. Like this. And if you want, then you can, sorry, or you can, uh, in decrease and decrease the scale for example let's choose 9 again and let's increase the scale of it and let's see what we will get over here and we will get something like this or let's uh, make the scale 10 only and we will stick with this parenting like this okay so with the help of this kind of technique we can create this looping animations now right click new and create one null object select both of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s let's create one keyframe over here go somewhere and over here and we need to increase the size of this okay now at this point i'll select both the keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and let's move this over here now select both the keyframes and hit f9 and then let's uh, choose dot resolution so it will load a little bit faster so along with this animation we will get something like this 
okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation and if you want then you can create one solid background layer with the bluish kind of color let's move this over here okay so that's it for today's video we will see you in next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned